Hello and welcome to our AFT Fathom 12 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series, Video 5. In this video, we are going to discuss how to use the Graph Results window to make helpful graphs from the model results. If you have not already, run the model to obtain results by clicking the Run Model button on the toolbar. Click the Graph Results button in the Solution Progress window after the solver finishes to go to the Graph Results window. If you are unfamiliar with creating graphs in AFT Fathom, you can use the Graph Guide to walk you through the steps. We will use the Graph Guide to create a simple graph. For this model, there is one type of graph available for a profile plot where you can see how a parameter changes along a flow path. If you have a pump in your model, you will see a second type appear to create a pump and system curve. Click the graph type and follow the steps. If you would like to change the formatting of a graph, click the formatting button to change fonts, text sizes, scaling, line styles, and colors. Or you can right click on chart, axis titles, or names to change those directly. You can toggle graph lines using the checkboxes in the legend. You can also create more than one graph at a time. Click the green plus icon at the bottom right to add a new graph tab. For this graph, we will create a more advanced profile plot to compare static and stagnation pressure. To add a parameter, click the Add button. If you would like to make this parameter part of a secondary y-axis, select the parameter and click the blue arrow pointing to the right to indent the parameter in the list. This designates it as a secondary y-axis parameter. You can also add a secondary y-axis by adding two rows for the same parameter, but using a separate set of units. Instead of a secondary y-axis, you can create stat graphs that use a common x-axis. Create a stat graph to include the hydraulic grade line and elevation profile in a separate plot below the pressure profile. We now have two profile plots stacked on top of each other. Pressure profile on top with stagnation pressure on the secondary axis. Hydraulic grade line and elevation displayed on the bottom. Note that it is by design that the graph does not show elevation on the secondary y-axis when plotted with a hydraulic or energy grade line. Now that we have created a quality graph, click the folder with the blue plus sign on the toolbar to save the graph for quick generation later. You can give the graph any name you like. You will notice that the borders turn dark green to identify that you successfully added the graph to the graph list manager. The color coding also shows which graph list items and parameters that the plot corresponds to, such as purple for profile graphs. Make two quick formatting changes by showing junction location labels and modifying the x-axis scaling. You will notice that the border changed from dark green to light green to indicate we changed a saved graph list item. To save these new changes to the graph list item, click the folder with the green circle and check mark. Note that the graph list item saved to the model file. This means that AFT Fathom does not save the new graph list items and changes to existing graph list items until you save the model. To demonstrate how to use the graph list items to quickly generate a saved graph, we are going to make a change to the model, run the model again to get new results, then use the graph list item to generate the graph. Note that with this graph, the HGL and elevation at J1 are 50 feet. Go back to the workspace and change the liquid surface elevation of the reservoir to 60 feet and run the model again. Go to the graph results window and double click the graph list item to regenerate the same plot as before, now updated to the new results we just obtained. Note that the HGL and elevation at J1 are now 60 feet as expected. In summary, the Graph Results window provides easy to understand features to create detailed and customizable graphs. You can save these graphs for quick generation later when making updates to the model. Thank you for watching and feel free to refer to other topics in our AFT Fathom 12 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series.